That's why I dropped in on Western Spirit, Scottsdale's Museum of the West. It's the endless kind of uh, dreaming that you have when you're looking at a landscape and, you know, the clouds are just rolling. So it's, it's a lot of different things like um, sensory, you know, Western spirit. It might be the smell of the rain with the creosotes. Oh, um, it's, it's just, you know. I knew we were going to yeah. get along you say things like that. <laughs> so, I love that. We talk about the, the geography alone, just the yes, geography. just the geography. Right? We realize, well, first of all, Arizona is, what, the sixth largest state in, in the United the, States? In the United States. Right? So it's we, vast. It's, it's massive. We think it big is. states. We think Alaska. We think Texas. We forget that Arizona is huge. Huge. So you get to see those breathtaking landscapes. The panoramas. Daily. Know. It's a place that is kind of this mythical west with the, the, sun, the sunrises and the sunsets and the brilliant skies that we have here. You know, depicted here in photography. We have it on, on canvases and video. Why did artists discover this part of, why, why here? Well, back in the 1940s, there was an artist, a Native American artist named Lloyd Kivanu, mm -hmm. and he started working with other artists, and they, they started this collaborative in Old Town Scottsdale. It was called the Scottsdale Craftsman, and then from there it just grew into all of the hundreds of galleries. I'd like to talk a little bit about the Old West versus the New West. What in the world are we talking about here? So what we do here at the museum is we really think about all the different ways and we use stories to tell the, you know, the, the history uh, and, and what was it really like, you know, and based upon whose perspectives. There are always multiple perspectives and, you know, the West is very a very multifaceted place um, with a lot of contested history. So right. we say we bridge the Old West and all of those stories with new and what, what's happening today like water rights and water issues. So we're coming up on our fourth year. So we opened without any collections, so everything came to us on loans. And over the past four years, we started to receive actual permanent collections gifted to the museum. And this, this is one example of a Hopi pottery collection. We are a Smithsonian affiliate, affiliate. museum What is that? Well. By the way, I saw that. What does that mean? Many pieces uh, are coming from the Smithsonian. And this is John Coleman and all of his pieces, their regalia, their clothing uh, of native peoples, that it's all historically it's accurate. Historically accurate. This is our collection of Abe Hayes' Spirit of the West. About 50 years ago, started doing this and looking at areas like the saloon, even prisoner made art, like right. these bits and spurs and the horsehair. So all of our exhibitions, you know, we may have pieces like in this show that date back to the mid 1800s. But then we have, you know, very contemporary paintings that were done, you know, two years two ago. Years ago. Mm -hmm. We get a lot of visitors here that have seen the West growing up and feel like they're a part of it because of the Hollywood movies and the TV shows. I've seen people become really emotional and say, I grew up on these I grew movies. Up on these and movies. Photos. Edward Sheriff Curtis. He created these volumes of uh, the North American Indian and the different tribes. So the image is actually processed and printed on the glass. On the glass. They're, they're called gold tones. In many cases, these are some of the only photos known. Geographic area of the Navajo mm -hmm. or where? Is Arizona, it's Arizona and New Mexico, and New Mexico. a little bit into Nevada. And the Hopi are central Arizona. Central Arizona, that's right, okay. These are amazing. And our mission makes us able to do a variety of exhibitions from different periods that speak to that drive of the Western spirit, that optimism, wanting in some cases a new beginning that really makes you realize the sheer tenacity mm -hmm. of people, you mm -hmm. know, and the willpower to want to change and change their lives for the better. So people who have been to Scottsdale before, five years ago, didn't experience it. It, it was not come, here. It wasn't here. Tricia, this is awesome. It was good to meet you. Thank you Very so much nice for doing this. Very nice to meet you.